Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is recording. This restarted the meeting if you're watching this, I don't know. Okay, so, okay, so the first question is in which direction will the system move? Okay, so for this, we have to see if one G is, oh, hold on, wait, I'm trying to think. Okay, so we have to see, okay, so we need to find M1G and then we would also need to find uh, M M2 sign theta. M2G sign theta. M2, oh yeah, yeah, whoops, sorry, my bad. Okay, so M1, okay, and then M2G sign Data. I was doing this problem when I switched the one and two, so I was uh, confused. Okay, so M1, I'm, I'm not, I'm just going five times 10. Okay, I'll just do 50. 50 yeah. minutes. M2G, okay, what is M2? Eight times G, 80, 80 sine of 30 is 40, right? Yeah. Okay, so then we have 40 newtons. Okay, so if M1G, is greater than that M2G sine theta, that means it's going to go to the right. Yes. To the right. I, I just think in terms of, I, I just think in terms of the, the block on the right, like whether it goes up or down, because that, that's yeah, easier yeah, for me to right. remember than for me to think right up, left. Yeah, that's weird for me. So either okay, way so it works. Okay, so, so it's going right. Okay, let's just confirm that that's correct. Okay, right. Oh wait, did this okay. right? No, I think it did. Okay, I did oh. that. So it was right. Okay. Um, okay. Next part. Okay, let's erase this. Okay, so we know it's going to the right. I mean the block on the right is going down. Yes. Okay. Okay, part B. What is the acceleration? Okay, acceleration we look at acceleration of what? The whole thing? The whole, whole I mean, thing? So do we have to look think at it? You'll get a system, probably. So do we have to look at it individually? Like Yeah, let's look at each diagram individually, because I don't know how you would think about all the net forces all together. That's a whole lot of directions and stuff. Yeah. OK, so. I guess let's look at the one on the left first. So we have, okay, so let me just not redraw it. I think we can all see. Okay, so, yeah. we, have, um, so we have 50 newtons going down and then tension is. For the one on the left? For the one on the right. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have 50 on the bottom and then this is a dumb question. How do you find tension again? Sorry? This is a dumb question, but how do you find tension again? Uh, so it depends, like, for for the mass of object one, the tension, it's like tension minus mg is equal to ma. Well, or, in this case, it would be ma it, it's, the, it's, uh, because it's going down, right? So m1g yeah. minus tension. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Equals yeah. Okay. M one G. I was I was thinking of M two for some reason. Yeah, M one G minus tension equals M A. Unless you say this is your positive direction and you want to do it that way, that works too. Right? It's just yeah, okay. you just got to keep it consistent. Okay, right. So we know this is going down, so that's why we know we should put M one G minus T. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So M one G is fifty minus T equals five A. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. Should we get this for T? Well, let's do the other one and we'll figure out. We Because I sometimes okay. what happens is you can cancel them out and sometimes it doesn't make sense to substitute her. Okay, so then for the other one, we have tension and then we have mg sine theta. So it's going this way. So that means it's T minus mg sine theta? Yes. Okay. Wow, I'm getting the hang of this. M1, no, M2G. Oh my gosh, so many numbers and <laughs> letters. There's too many letters in this. 
like there's f of g and f of f r which is like friction and then f yes. and f n yeah, and i'm just like chill out with all the f's okay <laughs> a okay so then we tension um what was this again 80 sine theta which was 50 i mean 40 40 yeah it's 40 equals 8a yep okay so then we can just okay so we know uh, okay wait, i don't have space to write this okay so then we have oh let me move this so then we have t equals 40 plus you can just add the two equations together and that can, eliminates your t oh, right yeah. that's a little, it's a little bit easier i mean you're gonna get the same thing but. okay yeah yeah we can just do that Hold on, give me one second. Sure. Okay, sorry, my sister walked in. Perfect. So then if we add the two equations, then we have 10 equals Wait, did I do this correctly? No. I think that's right. 10 equals 13a? Yeah. Okay. Have we done this one before? It feels very familiar. It's very familiar. Yeah. I remember the numbers 10 equals 13a. Yeah, I remember that too. I feel like that was, that might have been your homework or something. I was literally thinking the exact same thing. I, I was like, my, it's probably just me. No, I, I, feel it, I, I feel it too. I feel like we've done this. Yeah. That's a strange. Okay. Equals 13a. 10 divided by 13 is. Oh, wait, it's 1.3. Duh. Oh, wait. No. Uh, no, that is 13 divided no. by 10. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Okay, 0 0.77. Yes. Why I rely on the calculator. Okay, 0 0.77a. Okay, let's double check if that's right. That's B, right? Yes. Um, oh, wait. And then to find tension, you can just plug it into one of those original equations. Oh my god. Wait. My computer like froze. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why that means. You're fine, you're fine. Okay, there's okay, they got 0 0.75. Okay, they use 9.8, so 0 yeah. 0.75. Okay. So then okay, let's get the whiteboard back. Okay, so we have that. And let me erase this. All right. I told my parents that there was like a review happening and they were like, a review for what? And I was like, oh, we have a test tomorrow. And they were like, Study, they were like doing a review the night before and I was like I was like it's not because I could have it wasn't like actually a review and it was just the whole thing because they'd be like if it's a study group then you can miss it right and I was like I mean I can but like I rather would not yeah it was the whole situation okay calculate the tension in the what does that say uh, in the, the tension will be equal in either block Okay, yeah. Right, so. Okay, so what did, what did we get? Okay, let's just do this one, where it was like M1G minus T equals MA, M1G yeah. 50. Our tension was, oh, wait, no, we don't know what tension is, right? Yes, 50 minus 5 times the acceleration is our tension. Yeah, 5, what is, what was M? 5 times five, the acceleration, yeah. which is which was 0 0.77, correct? Yep. 
times five. Okay, that's 3.85. So then 50 minus 3.5, 46.2. Do you guys like how how specific are you guys on your six figs on the test usually? Um, I normally just do the least amount of six figs given to me in the numbers presented in the problem. You get what I'm saying? So like if something says um, like nine thousand, like it's a number, like the smallest number is nine thousand. I'll do like one or two six figs. But if, mm -hmm. if it's like like if the coefficient of friction is like point zero five zero, then I'll round to like the mm -hmm. third decimal place zero. You know. Just like with the, I guess like the the, the lowest. Number yeah, six. that's usually what I do. But sometimes like, sometimes it's so low. Like sometimes there's one sig fig in the problem. If it's like a hundred and I'm like, yeah, I don't sometimes... want it round to that. Like that, it feels and, so And I round two sig figs. So if like the number yeah. says like it, the, the mass is 9,000, then, uh, then I just round to, then I round two sig figs because I'm mm. just like 9,000 is way too like general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is good. You guys got 46.2, or yep. if you use 9.8, then a little bit different. Okay, and then last question. Okay. Um, what hanging mass will cause the system to remain at rest? Okay. So we have to find the mass. Okay, so because the- Wait, in this problem, in the same problem? Yeah. So are we saying like one that's hanging, this, which mass will cause it to remain at rest, like an additional mass hanging this way or an additional mass? I would assume it's an additional mass hanging. Yeah, me as well, I was gonna say. Oh wait, but that wouldn't work because it's going down. So we, to compensate, we would need to add it on the incline. Right, because- Right now, yeah. this mass is greater than the force, or the, the weight pulling down is greater than the force pulling yeah. this way. So it's going this way, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so then we would need it, something here? Like, yeah, we would need to add the mass to the incline. Okay, so <sighs> how would we exactly go? Can I annotate this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that way I can. I, I, can also play the, I can also play the video. If... Okay, so. First is if we know we know that f net equals sorry I put the vector sign on top but f net equals m a right and if it's at rest that means acceleration is zero right so f net is zero that means f net is zero okay yes. now in comparison to this so that's our normal force those two cancel each other out in in the left one our net force is m2 g sine theta minus tension that should equal zero correct yeah and then m1 g minus tension or sorry and yeah m1 g minus tension should also equal zero okay so if we put them equal to each other Ah, that's right, because they're both equal to zero. You can set them equal to each other. That's so a good then idea. G would cancel, T would cancel. Uh, two sine sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just need to. No, you're, you're fine. No, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So, the t yeah, you're right. The tensions would go cancel, and then you would have M1G, M M2G sine theta plus M1G equals, or no, these two are M2, equal to each other, right? M2 sine theta equals M1. Yes. You're right, thank you. M2 sine theta equals M1. Well, we know we're not adding anything to M1, so M1 would still probably be five, right? Yeah. And M2 is whatever, our, or let's just call this MN now because it's our new mass. Yeah. MN, sine 30 is still cha not changing. Sine 30 is one half. If we multiply both sides by two, we get 10. So, so MN is 10. And right now we have five. So we, we're just going to add another five kilogram block to make it 10. Wait, I thought we were adding it to the incline. So, so on top of this, like adding it to the incline, so it pulls this way. Yeah, so why would it be five? Because the total is 10, right? So if the yeah, total isn't is this 10, eight? Huh? 
Isn't this eight? Oh, I'm sorry. That I, you're right. It is eight. I just looked at it. It looked like a Okay, so it'd be two? Yeah, you're right. So yeah, two kilograms. Okay, let's check. There's a lot of math going on here. Oh, no, I want to do theater mode. Oh, they got four. What? Oh, we, we, we got the same thing. M2 equals a eight. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did that. We might have messed up on their math somewhere. Eight okay, times so 30 is equal to four, but that doesn't make any sense because if we're trying to make one side equal to the other side, four is not equal to five. Wait, go back for a second. Onto to the whiteboard. Oh, oh. Okay. Also, I think I'm going to go to the reading. So I might leave in a few minutes. You guys can continue. Okay, yeah. I uh, was probably going to have to go anyways. If yeah. That's okay. Okay, let's just see this real quick. So M2G sine theta minus T, right, equals, mm -hmm. or let, once again, let's call this MN just to be clear. Our new mass, uh, G sine theta, is equal to that. Uh, we add tension on both sides so we can get rid of it. Fine. Uh, we divide both sides by G, get rid of it. Great. Now, MN sine theta equals M1, right? So that means mm -hmm. if sine, sine of 30 degrees is one half, we multiply both sides by two. Two times five is 10. So that means mass, the new mass is 10. That means if the new mass is 10 and we had eight before, then this must be, the additional mass must be two. Where I, our math is sound. I don't know what they're doing. But our math is there. Can you just screen share that? Am I see it? Sorry, we can't see it. You you'll have to stop the whiteboard and then. Open. Oh, so you guys can only see the whiteboard? Yeah, we can only see, and we right now we only see a part of the whiteboard. We don't even see the oh, whole whiteboard. Because yeah, because I okay 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 okay. So we can try okay okay. Do you guys want to just? Make I just want to see. It. Can you just make it big, like make it full screen? I just want to see his math, like yeah. at the end, what he did. Okay. We got the same ish tension, right? Yeah, we got the same yeah. ish tension. That's fine. Okay. It's part C. M two G. Okay, so that's the last part. Okay. Now let's try to get this move forward, but by calculating the tension force with reference to block one. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> yeah, can you just go to the end? No, yes, sorry. Hi. Oh, I, I, I put everything on two, two times speed, so I get it. No, he was talking really slowly, so I was like, I can't do okay. this. All right. Okay, so he got M2 equals M1 sine theta. Works with me. Okay, mm -hmm. now M2 is the five kilograms. That's... I think he's adding it here, that's why. On why the... is he adding it here? That wouldn't make sense. I'm not sure. Because we know we know it's going this way. So to cause this to remain at rest, you would need to add the mass on this side. Um okay. I'm gonna head out. Um, but I think I think he made a mistake there. That wouldn't make it doesn't logically make sense. Okay. We can play it out and then we can see. Okay. You can also read the comments really quick. Yeah, I think the comments will help because some yeah, people usually comment on there. Let's look at the comments real quick. Okay. Um, okay. All right, and then, <laughs> oh my God. Um, no. Uh, nothing. No. Interesting. Why am I here? Why am I here? <laughs> oh. Very nice and beautiful explanation. Three heart emojis. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. What, what does that say yeah i don't think so oh no i think i don't what? here how about i'm gonna play it out just to see all right i'm gonna head out because i don't want to be late to that but okay. um hi mg thank you yeah IMG. thank you no thank you this was this was really helpful um mm -hmm. now I'll, I'll watch the end of this just to see what what i yeah all right okay bye guys okay bye okay let's just watch this and then we can I don't even know why he would. Okay, 
So let's. Now let's try to get the same answer, but by calculating the tension force with reference to block one. So we're going to define this as the y direction and this as the x direction for block one. So we're looking for the sum of the forces in the x direction. And so we have an upward or a tension force that pulls it to the right. So that's going to be positive T minus FG, which directs it towards the left. And that's negative since it's going in negative x direction. Now the net force in that direction is going to be M1A. Now because it's moving to the right, that net force has to be positive because it's moving in the positive x direction. Yeah. And FG, we know it's M1, the G sine theta. So therefore the tension force is M1A plus M1G sine theta. Yeah. So T is going to be 8 times the acceleration of 0.754 plus 8 times 9.8 times sine of 30. And this will give you the same answer of 45.25. Oh, wait, okay, he just did this again. So you have two different ways in which you can calculate the tension force. Okay, so this is still All you need to attention. do is just pick a block. It could be the one on the right or the one on the okay, left. Okay, yeah, my bad. This is, he's still talking about tension. <laughs> now let's move on to part D. Okay. What hanging mass will cause the system to remain at rest? <laughs> if you want to try it, feel free. <laughs> the system is going to be at rest when these two forces the two external forces are equal to each other. Okay, so when Fg is equal to M2g. Okay, that makes sense. So let's set M2g equal to Fg. M so Fg is M1 mm. G sine theta. So let's cancel G. And so M2 is equal to m1 sine theta. Now, our goal is to calculate the hanging mass. So therefore, the 8 kilogram mass will remain the same. So we're looking for oh, m2. Oh, because it's asking for hanging mass, I guess. This is still a weird question, though, because it's still... such a weird way to word it, because it's like, if it's, if it's going down, then the contradictory force would be on the other. I don't even, I don't understand. I mean, I get that it's asking hanging mass, so you're adding it to that, to the right. But I get it, but that practically makes no sense. If no, you're yeah, yeah, I, yeah, no, I get it. I get that. That's so weird. That's so weird. This is such a weird question. Okay, let's just. No, no think about it. Like, okay, yeah, this makes sense then, because then he just does. Yeah. No, but it's like, it's already going down. Yeah. You add four kilograms to it. Half of eight is four. So therefore, if we replace the five kilogram mass with a four kilogram replace. mass. Replace. Oh. That makes so much sense. Wait, what hanging mass? Oh. Will cause this. We were trying to add it to it. Oh. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. 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 I get that now. All right. That makes sense. Cool. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, any other last minute questions? Uh, I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, stop the recording.